Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Faria Azhar and I am from HR Consultants Head of Islamabad. I am looking after UK universities and senior education counselor um, in located in Islamabad head office. Um, uh, today I will be discussing a few points for University of Huddersfield uh, that is uh, located in Manchester, uh, uh, one of the public university located in Huddersfield, uh, 30 minutes drive from Manchester. Students who want to study in Manchester, uh, they can uh, study in Huddersfield as well, one of the best options. Uh, good rank university near Manchester, uh, that is Huddersfield. Uh, Yorkshire, uh, it is located in Huddersfield, West Yorkshire, England. Uh, we are talking about something, uh, um, history about the Huddersfield University first. Uh, it has been a uh, university since 1992. And uh, before that, it was a series of institutions in 19th century, and it was made a teaching quality in uh, a practical, uh, particular focus of these activities. Uh, where, um, it's um, uh, one of the higher uh, education academy uh, global teaching excellence award and achieving a teaching excellence framework in world ranking both are in um, they achieved in 2017. Um, I'll be talking about the campuses as well. Uh, they have uh, three campuses: um, Queensgate campus, Auden campus, and. Bunsley campus and uh, all of them are in Huddersfield, located in Huddersfield. Um, uh, where they have different uh, like uh, uh, offering in different uh, like uh, uh, business schools, uh, different faculties. Uh, like they are offering um, for undergrad and postgrad program. Um, they have uh, like uh, applied sciences, uh, art and design and architecture. Computing and engineering, uh, business school, uh, business studies courses are, are also there. They are also offering uh, human and health sciences, music, humanities, and media, and education and professional development also. TKG Huddersfield University basically um, they are also uh, offering uh, foundation programs through uh, study group. Study group uh, is one of the best uh, pathway provider um, towards uh, the world. Uh, they are also offering in um, education in US, Canada, and um, US and uh, UK as well. Europe in your in other in Europe as well. And uh, um, uh, there are uh, minimum, I'll be discussing now minimum uh, entry requirements for uh, foundation degrees um, for uh, undergrad and for postgrad programs. Mm -hmm. Undergrad uh, for foundation, um, they will be required like uh, in, in your FSC, uh, like uh, if you are having uh, scores like 55% uh, or 50 to 55 percent, they accept you indirectly into the foundation degree. Yeah, and the best part is they are also offering um, scholarships as well uh, uh, through a study group. They have uh, like up to 4,000 pounds scholarship in study group is available for foundation students that your grades are good. And the best thing is if you are scored, if you have scored in, in your HSSC like 65% or above, they can directly get into your bachelor's degree. Okay, uh, one of the uh, best thing is uh, that the, uh, for bachelor's degree, you will be skipping your uh, foundation year. You will be saving one year of your degree, one year of your fee cost and everything, and you will be starting your um, direct bachelor's degree and completing in three years. And the other thing is uh, for a bachelor's entry, um, you have 65% in your HSSC and you will be getting into a like, direct bachelor's program. And uh, for A-levels, um, normally they accept B's and C's as well uh, to direct in entry into a bachelor's degree. Okay, uh, one of the best uh, part is they are also offering uh, scholarships. Uh, scholarships they have um, regional uh, vice chancellor scholarship that is up to three thousand pounds, and um, that is uh, that is awarded to every uh, international student who is um, uh, getting admission and enroll in um, uh, Huddersfield University. We being an HR, um, um, helping you in your admissions, visa guidance, and uh, overall all the process throughout uh, getting to the university. 
we help students into the admissions in their uh, further medical appointments visa interview preparations credibility interview preparations everything and then uh, filing their uh, helping students to file them their visas as well uh, and get the we get fully prepared for to get the visa stamp uh, in the in this regard okay and now uh, i'll be uh, coming through the postgrad programs they have uh, they have different postgrad programs all schools are offering uh, like postgrad degrees as well uh, and with the placement pro options as well okay uh, the placement uh, option is basically um, uh, for the for the students who wants to study a uh, one year of masters with the placement uh, option uh, they want to secure one year in industry and achieve a good uh, experience in the uh, in the placement one of the best thing is for the placement is uh, they have uh, they are offering guaranteed placement uh, to the students and uh, but the thing is they have only five places of each program like they uh, only offers five students uh, to get into the placement options and uh, they have uh, that is why uh, they uh, like are committed to give a guaranteed progression and good guaranteed placement of uh, placement to the students they have different uh, a contract with the employers in the, within the UK and they arrange placements for your students <laughs> And um, entry if you're talking about the entry requirement for postgrad programs, so uh, we can uh, like they accept. <laughs> excuse me, they accept CGPA uh, minimum 2.4 or 2.5. Uh, sometimes the uh, minimum requirement is 2.6, but they are sometimes if the student is good in English and good in uh, IELTS as well, so uh, they can accept in uh, they can accept. Uh, like if the CGPA is below then 2.4 or 2.5 yeah for pro categories um, we are uh, if we're talking about the tuition fee the course fee uh, overall all the programs throughout the programs is 15,000 or 14,000 program uh, pounds per year and depending upon the course because business courses are 14,000 and the engineering and other um, lab uh, courses are for fifty. they cost uh, 15,000 pounds a year uh, if student is um, uh, applying through uh, applying uh, for pro placement option as well they charge additional cost for the placements and the co and the placement cost will be 750 pounds uh, but it will be uh, like <laughs> charged at the time when we secure uh, your placement okay but also, um, mm -hmm. uh, if you're talking about the IELTS requirement for undergrad, they accept overall six, uh, uh, six in uh, six overall and five point five in each. And for the masters, uh, the uh, minimum requirement is six point five and six in the each uh, module. Uh, and if we're talking about the placement courses, uh, pla in the placement courses, the uh, uh, requirement is a bit higher. IELTS requirement is a bit higher as uh, compared to the normal course. Uh, in the placement courses, they offer they require seven band overall in IELTS and um, six point five in each module. And normally, uh, students. Uh, um, a secure good uh, like for good secure good results in IELTS uh, for the uh, for master's degrees as well and the bachelor's. Uh, we have uh, like if you're talking about the courses for masters, we have uh, artificial intelligence, very business um, analytical uh, business analytics, analytical biosciences, data analytics, and few like um, uh, if you're talking about um, uh, the pharmacy courses, they are also offering um, uh, forensic. Um, uh, like forensic and analytical sciences, uh, global health, uh, global public health, they are also offering for the students who want to study public health and uh, public health and everything uh, like um, in, in this uh, the field of um, um, doctors, uh, in the field of medical para paramedics and everything. Uh, they are also, if you're talking about the rankings, um, uh, they are um, like good in rankings. Um, it's top um it's in uh, in national uh, if you're talking about the national ranking it is 64 
and the as per guardian it by 2020 it is on 20, 21st uh, 21st uh, 40, 40 sorry it's on uh, 41th uh, 41st and uh, if we're talking about the um, global rankings it is in 600 to 800 uh, it, it will it is lying in 600 to 800 universities over all the world okay. let's see um, it's if uh, uh, yeah after degree uh, then we can apply for post study work visa for students will be completing their degrees in um, their degrees in uh, next year and then they will be available uh, then they will be getting a two years of post study work visa post study work visa is also available on the courses and the uh, um, like study options uh, after complete completion of their degrees post study visa option is also available for the students let's see if uh, any question uh, to regarding the students uh, Students in no any chance of getting MSc Biomedical without on the basis of university English. Uh, actually, um, Huddersfield is not um, uh, offering their English test over here in Pakistan right now. Um, I think um, uh, due to COVID-19, um, if they have uh, uh, shown any flexibility regarding in their IELTS, then we'll this will we can discuss and we can answer the like these type of questions uh, later on stages. Uh, yes, uh, if you, uh, one of the students is asking about the mathematics, uh, we have uh, no, they are we are not offering. Uh, we have uh, mathematics uh, type of program because they uh, they only um, like they only offers applied sciences. Uh, architecture as i already mentioned architecture and design courses computing and engineering courses um, education and professional development business courses and human health sciences music and humanities and media studies as well uh, the whole, uh, one of the uh, one of the programs they are uh, very uh, like uh, acceptable and um, very uh, much uh, focused by the in the students uh, they are looking for, for for computer science students they are getting to artificial intelligence uh, most of the time they want to build, they want to study data analytics as it has um, nowadays they have spoken uh, these courses and they want to study this even uh, for engineering and um, mechanical students they have automotive and motorsports engineering uh, uh, also they are offering advertising courses or also we have uh, offered uh, students um, yes uh, if you need any other guidance any other information regarding university of Huddersfield or any other university uh, uh, like uh, uh, in the UK, within the UK, I am uh, available on uh, one phone call or WhatsApp away. My contact number is 0346-474-7002. You can contact me on my WhatsApp, on my number, uh, direct call or message. I am available in one call away. Uh, one of the students is asking about the scholarship they are offering. Yes, I already mentioned that we are offering um, three thousand pounds scholarship uh, for the, up to three thousand pounds scholarship for the students, uh, and that is uh, a vice chancellor scholarship, and it is the regional award basically. And they are offering all the international students uh, who enroll uh, the University of Huddersfield. Let's see if they, we have any. We can get visa when all the embassies are closed. Yes, uh, nowadays. We can't say anything about the um, about the situation outside and when it will be clear uh, as soon as uh, things will be fine and such outside situation and uncertainties will be uh, finalized or closed um, we uh, it, all the um, embassies and all the uh, visa application centers will be open then we can apply for the visas right now uh, visa offices are closed and we can apply for the visas due to uncertain situation outside due to COVID 19 uh any other queries if we are talking about anyhow um, thank, uh, thank you guys for attending this session uh with me with uh, with me and hr consultants private limited um if you are uh, looking for any kind of guidance and any kind of information regarding education in uk you can uh, call or you can whatsapp uh, me on my whatsapp number uh, and that is zero three four six four seven four seven uh, double zero two.
thank you so much uh, for attending this session and being a part of this session thank you